Hello everybody and welcome to Isle of Honora, created by the famous Valachan. This took first place in the Thinking with Portals 2020 Picture Perfect contest, so I expect it to be nothing but absolutely beautiful. It already has rather, rather strong hints of being so. Uh, some of you may already be getting a certain sort of vibe. Yeah, don't worry, as we round the big reveal corner, those vibes of yours will be thoroughly, thoroughly confirmed, Jell. It's heavily inspired by mist, clearly. And absolutely beautifully done by the looks of it. Uh, this is about as far as I got to test the map actually worked. This is one you've got to download from the, you know, the full-blown internet rather than the workshop because of that old, um... Well, the workshop used to have a limit on the file size and the more impressive the map, the bigger the file size tends to be. That's no longer the issue, so you can download at will. However, you have to get this one off the internet still. Uh, link in the description as per always. Um, yeah. It, it looks absolutely gorgeous. We've got birds, we've got actually rolling waves, we've got an actual misty mistness going on, we've got actual moving skybox clouds. Very, very nicely done. Okay, so in true fashion, just like the last time I attempted to play Mist, I will now proceed to wander about admiring the beauty, but ultimately not having a clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Birds. Okay, uh, this way I assume. A ladder here down to some more catwalk type things above the rolling ocean. These very much are like go this way kind of things, aren't they? So long fall boots still work, they do, thankfully. Life preserver, Borealis, nice crossover touch there. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is just what I do in Mist. I wander about, I don't know what to do, but I admire everything because it looks gorgeous. Yeah, Valachan is one of those very, very creative and very talented hammer modders that you find in the Portal 2 community. And um, I've enjoyed all of their maps that I've played so far. Those are giant bones. Those are giant bones in Mist. I never got very far. Didn't Riven, didn't Riven have the there be giants kind of vibe? Again, that's one I never really got into. And to be fair, I've only played the modern actually lets you walk around versions. So that's a piston. Recently, they were rather deadly. That one looks to be in a position of not much harm. They're yeah, gorgeous. The sound design even changes as you get further away from the waves. Uh, you, you are a science button. I therefore need to press you. Pressing you lowers the piston. Love the fact that those actually move to do it. Lowers this piston down, giving me a platform here. Feels very much like something I'm supposed to ride up on. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just a admire the view kind of thing or didn't mist have a lot of um lift you up so you could have a look around and see something you're supposed to do like probably head towards that door in the giant dome over there right there's some more sort of structures going on off in the misty misty distance as well the amount of details that some mappers put into their mods or modders put into their maps probably makes more sense is absolutely stunning and i've said it before and i will say it again if Valve ever bothers to get around to Portal 3, it needs to be looking to the Portal community for inspiration and to employ some very talented people. Third, um, okay, fine, we'll enter the dome. Domes were important in Mist. Again, don't know why. Ooh, Portal Gun. That's probably very, ooh. What a grand way to deliver one's Portal device. Can I have that? Thank you. Oh, it is mine as well. Cool, um, fuck knows how this thing keeps ending up all over the place. Little rotating staircase just to deliver that to us. Nice. Got some music that's suitable to the situation too. Pipes, creaking walkways. You look like a portallable surface, and since we've been given a gun, I should probably leave one there. Uh, I'm not allowed to zoom in for some reason, which is a little bit annoying, but probably for dramatic effect, right? So just keep exploring, I guess. Uh, that, that is a very big skull. Well, someone was rather full of themselves. Um, engine humming noise down here. Some sort of generator. Can I, can't interact with you at all? No. Okay, so keep exploring, I guess. I wonder if there's stuff underwater. Again, like, I, I got nowhere in mist. I just sort of wandered around the first island a bit, prodding at stuff. Um, so we're probably supposed to be having really, really good look for stuff we can 
do things with? I'd like to zoom in over there. It's still Aperture. Still got Aperture markings. I do like these sort of like crossovers that way. Ooh. Ooh. That's fancy. They close up? Ah, <laughs> they do. Nice little attention to detail there. Probably cost an absolute fortune to have that installed. Have you seen the price of blinds these days just for a regular window? Uh, so... Where am I going? There's more bones about the place. There are definitely be giants. Was that somewhere before? Where was that? How do we get there? We came from that way. That's what we were looking at before, where the the aperture markings on the presumably petroleum tanks are, right? So how do I get to over there? Is that a surface? Can I get on the tank? No. Okay, so just like mist, I am clearly missing something very important. Um, these don't do anything else. That's that's some of that conveniently moon rock painted walling down there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. We found somewhere to actually go. Pop down under the uh, portal delivery mechanism, where things take a rather creepier turn. And previous Valachan maps have told me that things can get pretty bloody creepy. Atmospheric sound design, very, very nicely done. Remnants of past life and work. So, do you work? You do. You're a nicely animated door. Nicely lit, too. We've got a bit of that viscous kind of lighting going on down here as well. That's a rib gauge. There are definitely be giants, and I don't know why I keep making that reference. I, I don't think it actually has anything to do with mist, but, um... I mean, that's a pelvis, right? Somebody had a pretty, pretty big ass. Uh, can I make that jump? Can I make that jump? I can. Takes us back out into the lovely, lovely light. No. Uh, these doors work, right? They do. They're very nicely animated, too. Um, so just keep exploring and prodding at things, right? In here. Well, in here is some sort of remnant of science. There's a button down below there. Nice bit of little lighting just to hint. Hey, look over here. Window with an interesting view. Something over in that direction. More structures, at least. So what can I do with this remnant of science? Can't interact with it. Buttons? Buttons of other types, perhaps? How do we get to the below button? Is there a portable panel down there? Conveniently coated in ever so expensive moon rock. No. How do we get down to that there? Ah, ladder. Can I drop down here? Can I get down there somehow? Is that a decorative ladder? Come on, I've experienced working ladders, but oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Oh. Oh, well, that's very missed, right? Interactable by just the interact. Ah, now I can fall down fine. Wait, how did I get back up then? I was pressing E, like the interact button actually did something. Yeah, there you go. I'm still down here, though. Yeah, okay, that that's rather missed, right? Just like the sort of old-school gaming style of, yeah, no one really fancied animated walking up and down a ladder, so um, we'll just have you interact with it and metamorphosize down there, so... This way back up, so we can get back up, we know that at least. Love the lighting down here. Uh, button, button. Button does... Ooh, button does science. Clearly, clearly does science. A laser projects into space. Well, that's rather missed as well, isn't it? Okay, so that's probably a good thing. Uh, can I interactively go back up? I can, thank you very much. Means I should probably test ladders now as well, right? What do we, what do, we do now? There's some planks there. These planks would suggest we should probably go that way. Yeah, okay, well, there's a bit of a walkway around the beach here. Uh, more structures over there. Those appear to be more skulls, okay. Um, was there skulls in mist? Again, I, I never got very far. Where's that? Was that up above where we were before? I'm gonna go back and check. That's up above where... This laser's now protruding, right? Yeah, it's there. Okay, is that how we get to it? 
There's no other way around unless I'm supposed to walk the uh, femur. No, how do you get to that then? Ladders do work with that interaction thing now. But there's uh, water, or more specifically, ocean in the way. We make that jump. Can we get to you? No, we can't. We're drowning. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, now I've got to use that sound effect again. Okay. Um, let's get up to you. Can we breach? Thank you. And I can go up these, yeah? I can. Yes, okay. That nicely teleports me up to the top there. Right, uh, so. You now have a laser. Mm-hmm. What do I do with the laser? It looks very pretty. Again, this is kind of a... This was a misty kind of thing, right? I've activated something, but I don't know why. But damn, does it look pretty now it's running. Um, so... I guess... Just keep exploring? Not really sure where to go. There's some more structures out there. Let's uh, drop back down. We don't drown, do we? No, we, we can quite happily go underwater, so... Can I can I just swim out to whatever this is? Another rib cage half submerged there. That's a very big skull on that one. There are definitely be giants again. Don't know why I'm using that. Um, if we get up here. I jump up this bit here. Thank you very much. We got some more skulls. Oh, and some baby ones too. Oh, it's always cute when you see a baby's exposed skull. Um, button. Big button. Big button does. Ah, yeah. Okay, I completely forgot about that. Uh, because it's a download from the internet rather than a workshop, you don't get the pretty ratings card, but don't worry, I can go ahead and fix that now. That was Isle of Honora, created by the very talented, famous Valachan. So a very big thank you to Valachan for that one, and a big thank you to Hugo B. Designer for the recommendation. And yeah, very, very clear to see why that took first place in the 2020 Picture Perfect contest. Very much deserved, and now I kind of want to go play Mist again, except I know I'll need to be able to set aside several hours to get anywhere with even the first puzzle. Thank you very much for watching, catch you later.